as on the title, I'm going to be doing a quick grocery haul and also just finishing off our food bank um, stuff that we're doing. We're doing the reverse calendar. I mentioned it in a vlog right at the beginning of Vlogmas, um, which is basically just means that you just take 24, 25 items to a local food bank. Um, yeah, I spent £44. Um, yeah, we don't need too much this week. And also we are actually going away for three nights from Friday to Monday. So I didn't want to overdo it. Um, and I already have some like, still some fresh stuff and some freezer stuff. So yeah, it's quite a small shop really. The food bank stuff, the extra stuff that I bought. So obviously they want everything that um, that is gonna last really. It's got really sh long shelf life. I got some long life milk. Um, this is like April 19. Some two soups there and then some uh, veggies at the back. They also want tea bags, minestrone soup, the cup of soup, I thought that'd be quite good. Um, some potatoes, some tomato, onion, garlic, pasta sauce, um, four pack of baked beans, and that is pretty much finishing off my food bank stuff. I've got like another box at the back here with some extra bits that I just raided from our house. On to food and stuff that what I've got for our house. So I bought two more of these crates. So these crates I bought last time, they were seven pounds each or two for 10. They're now actually reducing them down. So they were still seven pounds each or two for eight pounds. So I ended up getting two more because I really like them and I'm considering using them a lot for, I've got, um, I've got another one because I've used another one for a hamper, but I've got another one. So I've got three now that I'm going to use for most likely Violet Serene when I do her room up. But they're just lovely wooden grey crates and they're really decent size. Um, yeah, so we've got some baking potatoes, some bananas. We've got some Swiss chard. I thought that looked really, really nice. It's kind of the rainbow chard. I love steaming that down. I've got some pomegranates. So I always buy the ready pipped pomegranates and from Costco. Violet has been absolutely loving it so much, but I thought it'd be quite in, a bit more interesting for her to actually see it and like D obviously seed them herself because she hasn't done that before because um, I always buy it already prepared. But um, yeah, so there's two pomegranates in there for three pounds. I got some spring greens. These are for most likely Peter Rabbit. Some satsumas because they look so good and they're really in season at the moment. Or very festive. Um, I got also got some mixed nuts. Um, yeah, again, the kids have been liking going through the nuts that I put out the other day from the farmers market. But they really had walnuts and I think I can't remember chestnuts maybe. So I just got a variety bag. I got some skimmed milk for me. Uh, I also got some kefir. I actually really love the strawberry kefir that I had a couple of weeks ago. So I got the mango and passion fruit um, version. This is the Yeo Valley type. It's really creamy. Uh, cucumber. I got some sweet and mild pickle silver skin onions. I actually just going to put them away for Christmas. Um, like a cold, you know, when you have like the cold lunch on Boxing Day. Um, got some yogurt tubes for the kids, some chocolate mousses. These are pretty much for Graham and Alistair because Violet doesn't like them. Some mini chocolate digestive little like separate biscuits uh, packs. These are two for two pounds. Some skips, what's it's? They were a pound a bag. They're six in each. Also got some baked beans for ourselves. These are actually only one pound ten p. And they're really nice. They're really good beans, honestly. The kids and I, we can't even tell the difference. Um, and they're always low sugar as well. Uh, some knockoff shreddies, some coffee, because I've run out of just instant stuff. I did get a roasted whole British chicken garlic and herb roast in a bag. That was six pounds, a really nice size as well. Um, that's gonna be a meal for this week. And then I also got a tasty wholemeal thick that's gonna go in the freezer. And then I got two lots of bleach. Okay, so quick meal plan. So we were supposed to have this last week, but I didn't actually make it, but the uh, stir fry is absolutely fine. So we're having sweet and sour chicken stir fry tonight with some egg noodles. I got the chicken out of the freezer, I already diced it. Um, tomorrow we're gonna have a fish night. Wednesday we're gonna have a chicken, a roast chicken because I've got that really nice um, garlic, herby chicken. I'm gonna do some roast potatoes. My dad's my dad's around, so he's gonna um, enjoy that as well with some veggies and stuff and gravy. Um, and then on the Thursday, we're gonna have tomato, pesto, pasta. I'll show you the pesto actually. So this, this is one I haven't used before. 
we don't I don't really do a lot of pesto things because no one really likes green pesto but the tomato that we all like so this is a rich and tangy tomato pesto um, it's really nice actually so we're gonna have that with some like fusilli or something and then um, I may even throw in some leftover chicken if we've got any left and then obviously that is pretty much it because Friday night we are out because we are going away for a few nights so yeah that is meal plan for this week um, I hope it's giving you some ideas uh, like I mention every time I've got um, recipes on my recipe playlist if you need some inspiration um, yeah I really hope you're enjoying vlogmas and I will see you all soon